Byron from Spring has a question about softening with salt. His water district says his water has a 12.1 hardness. Is that really hard? Everything's hard here, believe me. You're not water there's not hard. one place around here at all that's got soft water. All right. Byron writes, even though... Oh, that's not true. Where? Your shower, because you have that water softener. Oh, I have a water softener, yeah. yeah. So if you want soft water, go to Tom's house. Okay. Yes. Anyway, so Byron writes to us, even though scale on the fixtures is a mess, my wife is a diabetic and on a low salt diet, and most softeners use salt, so maybe it's not good to drink without a reverse osmosis filter. Okay, so he's kind of on a free association thing going here. But uh, I can see where uh, sitting water in a water heater isn't helped much by a no-salt system. But bottom line, Tom, is Byron wants to know, do no salt systems work to soften the water? No. They do not at all. <laughs> How's your mom? But we've answered the question. Might no. as well talk about something, right? But I want a couple points here for you to think about. If your wife is that sensitive to salt, uh, you should be, you should be uh, filtering all the water. And even if she's not salt, but something else, filter the water. The water's got so much stuff in there. Reverse osmosis is important. But I want you to remember this. A gallon of softened water here in the Houston area has as much salt as one piece of white bread. So if your wife has a sandwich or anything like that, and she's not totally salt-free, she's getting a lot more out of her food of salt when it comes to intake than the water would ever give her. And if you have one fajita dinner, I don't want to hear about your salt content. I <laughs> okay. mean, of that. True. People go, oh, I don't want salt in my water. You go, give me some fajitas. More fajitas. <laughs> more queso. <laughs> Forget it. All right. Anyway, that's the bottom line. But if she's real sensitive, you got to soften with salt. Get a reverse osmosis always, no matter who you are, and don't drink the water or eat the yellow snow. And you're a good guy for taking good care of your bride, by Oh, absolutely. All right. You got questions, send us in, send in to us by visiting the website, homeshowradio.com. There's a form there. Ask on. Send it to us. We'll answer it here.